are you ready to dive into a whole new world of editing possibilities? Picture this, free access to all features, paying only for exports, and a pricing model so simple it'll make your editing experience a breeze. Get ready for cost-effective credits that'll save you money and time, especially if you're a pro looking to streamline your workflow. But hold on tight because here's an exclusive treat just for you. Don't miss out on the special bonus link in the description below, offering a free trial with a generous 30 credits valid for 30 days, yours for the taking. Are you ready to unlock a cost-effective, time-saving, and feature-packed editing journey? Buckle up! Okay, thank you very much for that introduction. Today I will be reviewing Evoto AI photo editing software. And before I move forward, guys, I want to remind you that in the description below in the video, you will have a link that will take you to the download page in where you can get the software with 30 credits for free. Let me stress that, guys. If you click on the download free trial, you will be able to register and download, but you will get only five credits. Remember to use the link in the description. That way you will get 30 credits for free, all right? My first impressions using this software is that it is great, it's good. Uh, it uses artificial intelligence in a very good way. Um, the results are really impressive and you will see that working later on. But what I want to stress uh, out and the first thing that caught my attention is the pricing structure. This is something that is really good and let me show you why. If I go to the pricing link in their website, uh, you will see two things that I think uh, that are great. First one, you only charge upon exporting and the second one is no sus subscription necessary. In other words, I don't need to pay any monthly or any type of subscription uh, to use the software. I mean, to use full features of the software. And if I export a photograph, that's when I will get charged. I mean, discounted a credit. So remember that you have 30 credits for free if you download and register using the link in the description of the video. Simple as this, one photo equals one credit. So if you export a photograph, you will be discounted one credit. And then, and if you need to re-export again that photograph, you will not, let me explain that, you will not need to pay again or you won't be discounted again, right? I mean, deducted a credit. So, and this is the pricing, you know, the more credits you get, you know, the lower the price will be. But this is great, so I, I encourage you guys to uh, download that software, I mean this software, use the credit, test it out. Uh, the results are really, really incredible and you will see that working later on in the video. So without any further ado, let's get into the how-tos and, and let me show you the interface and how this tool works with different scenarios. Okay, welcome back, um, let me now show you the interface when you install and open the program for the first time you will have this window um, you might only have the sample project folder and the create project one and also the menu here and this all of their uh, links in here so if you want to create a project or a folder you just click here put a project name to that you know project one Hit enter and then you will be ready to import an image or import a complete folder. If you already have all the images you want to work on in the folder, you click here, import folder and select the folder you want to import. Remember that this is non-destructive. If you decide to delete any of the photographs or the folder, it will only be deleted from the Evoto interface, not from your hard drive or the original photo won't be touched. All right, so let me go back to the home page. If you want to delete a project, just select, right click and delete, and it will be gone. All right, over here you have the account options, you have the amount of credits you have available and what, what you have remaining and some other details here, my usage details. It would open uh, uh, a page in the website, look, all right. 
So it will show you all the details of your usage of what you have in there, right? Okay. Okay, and then by now, if you want to buy more credits, it will show you this option to buy credits here. It will show you the pricing structure currently. And you select here and you click buy now. Pretty much easy. And here are gifts. This is a gift. Uh, by the icon, I can see that. Uh, you may be able to share some information and you will get 10 credits, right? So it's up to you if you want to do it. So now moving into the interface itself, the way to access an interface is just to, you know, open a project. So I will open this sample project. Here we are inside the program with a photograph open. Um, as you can see, the interface is pretty much simple and straightforward. In the left hand, you will have the preset options, some of the, you know, the masking of the tools and the history of what you have done in your editing workflow. On top here, on the left, you have the menu, um, basic menu, and you have the options to go back to the home page, well, I mean, the project page. You double click again closing it here you can add more photographs to your project here if you want to and also over here you can reset all the effects the hand tool or you know when you select the hand tool you can move the photograph around and this is the smudge tool and the hidden tool now uh, you will see that working later on now moving to the right side over here you will have the portrait retouching ai um, in, uh, adjustments a lot of them, um, the tool will detect the photograph if it's a female, male, child, or whatever, but you can still fine tune. Uh, I mean, the detection you can click in here, and then it will try to detect, you know, if it's a female, or if you want to fix it, no, it's not a female, or whatever, you can do that from there. So you can click save because indeed it's a female. And then you have the other options here, like, you know, blemishes removal and a ton of adjustments that you can try uh, to fix stuff. For example, over here, this dark circle, if I move that here, it will fix this area here and some other. So I will show that in more detail later on in the video. And um, apart from the blemishes, you have the skin retouching separated. You know, you can do some dungeon burning by AI cool you can smooth the skin you know you can see the results really cool then you have facial reshape and you know there are tons of things that you can uh, use it to you know to fine-tune your photographs and if I go one by one detail it will take forever but you know you will see most of them working and the way I use them uh, the other option here is the background adjustment over here you can replace backgrounds i think this tool is great also as that and also you can do some sky replacement and cleaning up backgrounds over here this is for clothing this is really cool one of the things i tested in one of the photograph i will be retouching i think it's cool because you know ironing the two i mean ironing the clothes uh, digitally is really difficult and time consuming and this tool make, makes it really easy and then also the cropping okay over here and the one i think i didn't mention was the color adjustments now uh, you in this section over here on the right side you have the basic color adjustments of um, all times you know most of the photo editing software they have these tools available you know just to apply you know white balance exposure contrast and, and the only thing i see different in here is this filtering stuff you will have a kind of uh, filtering here you can apply to your photographs for example yeah you can apply these looks and over here and uh, next to the color adjustment you have the ai color adjustments we said this photograph i go here set all effects i can click on one of these and then it will apply uh, the adjustments you have the ability to see um, you know in, in preview you know the amount of the effect you want to apply but what it does actually is you know it will it move some of the adjustments here for example if i click on your love here you see that things change here olive green things are changing in here because you know it's applying uh, this ai color adjustment and since it's ai it's scanning the photograph and adjusting the you know the different sliders to what is really needed based on the algorithm right 
now going below over here we have the film strip or the photo or the thumbnail parade if you want to name it that way over here you will have the different pictures that you have in the project you can import picture to this project i will show you i mean when you are inside of a project how you can import uh, additional photograph to that project all right so you have here you can in this film strip i mean this area you can also filter your photograph by the star you know you can assign a star value to it and you can filter in the future now moving back to the left side here you have the presets these are presets that are built in the tool all for free from the Evoto team you can play with them and you can also i mean uh, play with them and, and save or retouch them or change them and save it as your own or you can create your own presets and save them in, in this tool for future use here under the right presets okay but that's basically the interface nothing more to it very simple very accessible i think that you know it's also intuitive so now let's move to the first photograph that will be retouching using Evoto ai Okay, here's the my project. I will import some photographs of this project. I will select uh, some pictures. I will drag them here to the import image, and the software is is importing the images. So you can see we have a few issues with this photograph. The first one I see is the color. I mean, color needs to be corrected. Also, there are a lot of blemishes and things around her face that you know, that I will want to test. So um, the first thing I will try here is, um, you know, use some of the basic, I mean, color grading or color adjustment tools. This was shot with a flash. So now we we'll start correcting the photograph and uh, maybe I will go all the way to lens correction and click on lens, lens correction and it will select the profile of the lens and do the auto correction of the lens if i want to check the before and after i just need to um, press the space bar and it will show me the adjustment so from color wise i think it's okay right so i can start now working uh with the face so i will switch to the portrait retouching and the first thing I will do is the blemish removal, freckle and acne. I will crank that up to 100%. And you see that it removed most of them. It kept some of them. I think this is natural. I mean, it's part of her face, right? A tough type of, I mean, uh, skin that we have here. He has done a tremendous job. Particularly before, after, before, after, all right? Okay, now I can still apply some more adjustments to the skin. For example, I can do maybe let me do a 75% of the, uh, the dash and burning. All right, I can check before after this. And another option to the before and after. I can do face skin smoothing around 50. Okay, now it looks much better. And the unified body complexion, if I, you know, uh, slide this to 100%, it will try to match the color of what is happening up here with the rest of the body. But in this case, I don't need that. I think that way is okay. Now, skin radiance. Um, skin radiance is kind of lighting up the skin. Look, and this, for this photograph, this is great because it was kind of dark. Uh, over the face. Now, this is much better. Now, it's, there's a hot spot here from the flash. Maybe I can try to match this tone with the face. And I have certain colors here that I, you know, that I can apply to the photograph and select the one I like the most. I think that this one over here will work better. All right, see the before, after, before, after. So, so far, so good. This photograph, I think, is, is looking great, right? One other thing that I can um, show you guys here is in this part of the skin retouching is that we also have a way to work on the blemishes. Let me go back of the body. 
these are things that she has over her skin. These are natural things, but if you were to remove them, you can use a simple tool like, you know, you can use this, uh, this tool over here, for example, you can use this spot healing tool, all right? And then you can zoom in and you can try to, you know, do it one by one. It might work. It's doing okay, but there's an option here. Yeah, I want to exit that. There's an option here under blemish removal, all right? says body blemish if i apply this boom they're gone one move the slider here right and they're gone if you want to remove them that's okay if you want to keep them it's up to you now moving to the eyes i can brighten the eyes a little bit more if there are red veins so that she doesn't have any red veins but you will see that not working and one last thing is the hair in there and certain hair gaps here if i move the slider it will scan the image and try to fill some of the hair gaps here which i think is okay the cranial top is kind of readjusting this part but i think for her is fine the hairline as well you can you know modify the hairline up to your liking but for her is fine and this trace of you know stray hairs you can also remove them by a slider right see did a tremendous job right removing that if they, she doesn't have any type of hair strays in front of the face but this one around the, you know, the, the head is really nice so the photograph has come a long way you know just using a couple of sliders doing it really fast for example if i have the same picture for example they say that this session was 20 30 40 pictures and i can save this as a preset let me show you how i have all my adjustments here right the hair everything i did with the ai stuff i will not do anything with the background i think the clothes is fine uh, i will keep the, this photograph the way it is i mean in terms of adjustments i want to use it that way so i can click on save preset here and i can name this preset for example uh model one and if I want to create a group, I can create a group and I will say that uh, model one group, okay, group. And then this preset is saved under the model one group. You can select the options you want to uh, save as a preset. For example, crop is not always a good thing unless you you know all of them are the same and you want the same type of cropping but in this case i will leave it unticked so i'll click on save and then if i go to the preset section and under my presets i have my group here and i have the model one preset so if i go to this photograph here i can click on model one and let's see what voila there's the preset applied to this photograph you know with all the adjustments that i did before if you want to retouch any of them or remove it or change it, you can always go to the adjustments because they're gonna be here, right? Also, another thing you can do here if you don't want to store or save any preset is just to sync the adjustment to the other folders. In other words, you can copy, so to speak, these adjustments to the other photographs. And the way to do that is really simple. You select the first photograph and then you select I mean, I'm clicking uh, shift, I'm selecting, I'm pressing shift in my keyboard and selecting the last one I want to sync. And then the only thing I have to do is just to sync. I mean, press this button here and then you will see the tool start working here, copying here, copying this one here to the other one and to the next one. So if I check this photograph, it has the same adjustment. I mean, both of them have the same adjustment. So that's an easy way also to use the same adjustments you have, you know, especially when you have a session that has several photos of the same model and you want to actually use the same processing. So now let's move to the next part when I explore some other options of Eboto AI. right here i have the next photograph it's the same model but a different dress and a different pose and this picture has some other issues that you know you see the soft box here showing 
And to remove this one here, we use this uh, healing tool here. And then that size is fine. I will select over it. And boom, it's gone. Next thing I have to do is just to click OK. Or it's a process and it's gone. Now, as a, as a starting point, I can try the preset I created in the previous photograph. Since it's the same model, the lighting is different. So, so it might be a little bit bright, but let me try. I will go back to my presets, and select model one. See what happened. Okay. I think that the color is not bad. Maybe what I don't like is the preset. I mean the filter. Remember, if I go back here to the filters, I apply this filter here. Maybe I want to remove that filter or test another one over here, over here. Let me see this one here. I think I will use this one. And this is what I was talking about. I mentioned at the beginning, you see that when I switched to color adjustment, all the effects of the skin were gone. And the reason that happened is because I have this uh, switch enabled here. If I disable it, it will load all the adjustments with the color presets I am, I was, I'm using. So if I want to have a more realistic look, what's going on, I can test that here, right? So I will keep that. The first, I think it's pretty much the same thing. Maybe I will do here is just to go to the, uh, uh, I mean, to the white balance and apply a little bit more of this yellow tone, a little bit less. I think it's fine. And if you don't like it, you can always go and reset all effects and start from scratch. Okay, for example, I can go to the presets and use one of the recommended ones. For example, let me try natural one. Very subtle. I don't see big of a change, but bar, you know, space bar or click here and you see the changes. Let me try natural two. This one is kind of better, right? Let me leave it the way it is right now, like that. But I will use, uh, in this case, go to the basic again and switch this to flash. Much better. And then I can start again moving through the processes of the blemish removal, right? I remember 100 here is fine. Everything is applied, you know, to what the, the previous, uh, I mean, adjustment did. You know, adding the preset didn't change mo most of the things that I, I applied to the to the model. But this part in here, yes, it's gone. So I can go back to the uh, healing tool. We'll remove it, click OK. And this is a different look now, right? So I'll click on fit. If you like it the way it is, I think I like it the way it is. Maybe I would try um, a filter. I think filters are great. I mean, they're very natural. Let me see what happens. Yes, yes. And I can reduce the exposure a little bit. Touch it. Not too dark. Yes, I think there is fine. Oh, let me go back. My eye size are a little bit. I think I will go five. Boom, I will leave it there. Okay, good. So, so far we have, you know, tweaked the, the adjustments. I use uh, different presets, some other filtering, and let's say I want to save this as a preset again. So I can go save preset, the same group, and this is gonna be uh, the name model two. All right, save, and boom, I have in my preset model two. So I can apply the same preset to the rest of the photograph. For example, model two here, and it's applying the preset. Model two here is also applying the preset, right? Okay, good. Now, these three photographs are from the same model, different poses, and let me show you something I, I, I think is really cool. Look at this one. Let me use this one over here. I will close this one here. And if you see here on the color adjustment, I have a local option, All right? So I have the person and the background. So what it does is that if I click on background, 
any adjustments I do here, we only affect the background. For example, if I want to darken the background a little bit, I will go to exposure and reduce the exposure of the background. See this? Amazing. It's only affecting the background. So the model can pop a little bit more from um, the rest of the, um, you know, from the background. So this is cool. Another thing, if I go to now to facial, uh, I mean, portrait retouching, and I want to go to facial expressions, if I want to apply a gentle smile, up to here it gets a little bit weird, but just a touch will change the intention of the portrait. Look. So that's another option I think is really cool. But moving forward, this one here, the clothing, look at this. The option we have is the wrinkle. We have some wrinkles in here. I will crank this all the way to 100%. See what happens. Boom. Wrinkles are gone. These are natural. We have, but this is great. You still see some of them below. You can you have the 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 option to you know apply the amount you want. I will keep this one the way it is because I think it did really great. All right. So this is the the, the one of the powers of AI. You know, moving. I mean, we moving all this one by one in in a manual way is time consuming. Right, really time consuming. All right, coming back to the third sample. Third sample, I will be showing you how to use this tool. I have this photograph, it's an outdoor photograph. In this one, I will start by a preset. Uh, I've already tested, I will use this glowing zero one here. I think it's okay with the skin tones and everything. Maybe some retouching. I will do in the eyes and some other stuff. But here, um, let's see something here. We have her strays everywhere here and some other here, right? So um, I will go directly to the hair. Okay. Removal here. I mean, this race. Let me zoom in a little bit. Let me apply like 50%. See what happens. All right. Still one here, some other showing in here. Now let me go to 100%. Okay, most of them are gone. There's still one of them showing in here, but you know, in that case, you need to decide, right? Now the eyes, um, this is part of the makeup, but probably I want to apply is a red veins here. You see this reddish stuff in her eye. Let me go to 55%. I think I will go 100% and they're gone. This is also really, really great. I can brighten up the eyes, okay? And to remove or to adjust a little bit this thing here, I will go to, I think this is under blemish removal. Yeah, dark circles, I will go put on there like that. So let me zoom out. See the before, after, before, after. all right? I think it's doing a great job here. All right, now the body blemishes are not that noticeable if you want to get rid of them uh, also you can apply some of them will scan you see this vaccine marking here is gone and the rest is fine the armpit is really great so so far so good look at this the before after before after you see that the background seems not to be adjusted at all it's focused more in the model and also I can switch back to the color adjustments. I go, can go to basic, I mean, click on local and then select background. I want to darken the background touch. Uh, it's up to you, right? See, now the, the clouds are showing a little bit more there. No need to replace the background. You know, see, we have a natural background that was there when the picture was shot. And just by having the ability of the AI to help me with, I mean, doing a specific adjustments in the specific areas of the photograph is great. So the last step is to export this photograph. 
for example, if I want to export this one, I will click on export here and I have two options, the quick export, which is where I want to save this photograph and the path, right? Or the custom settings. And over here is where you can uh, change some stuff. For example, I can use the, you know, I mean, for the export location, I don't want to do pictures. I want to use a designated folder. So I will look for that folder in my, in my drive. For example, I will go to here, go to AI and then I create, a, create a new one like export. Okay. So I want to export that one there. And then uh, if I want to create a subfolder within that one, so I will click here and then I will do that as model one, for example. So it will have uh, a new folder. I mean, inside this, th that first folder, it will have a subfolder. And then the name of the file, if I want to use the original or which one, I will keep the original. Advanced settings, default format, if you want any type of uh, default is JPEG. And the quality is up to you, right? If we want the best quality, so it will be a large file. Convert to sRGB, that's fine. And the watermarking stuff, which is great. If you want to add watermarks, fine, go ahead. If you don't, uh, if you want, if you don't, you just turn it off. For example, over here, you can adjust in the watermarks, you can just adjust the size, the opacity, where you want this watermark to be. For example, if I want it there, okay. So it's the size here, if I want to, it's just the size, the opacity over here. So wherever you want to put the watermark, for example, if you want to keep it there, just to be weird, like there, <laughs> all right? Then if I export this photograph, for example, okay, if I click export, let me just move the watermark. And then I can fine tune, you know, if I want to vertical position to be a little bit lower or I'm just using this for uh, the sake of the tutorial. You use a better watermark for yours. So if I click on export, it will export the file to the folder I mentioned. So if I go back to, yeah, I have the photographing here with the watermark. Okay, so in full quality, this is a four megabyte photograph, all right? now. What happened now, Jose, okay, I already exported that photograph. Now I want to export it without the watermark. Okay, let's try again. I will export, and before doing that, let me check my credits. Okay, I have 33 remaining because I just export this one. So let me go back now. I will export again. Go to custom settings, right? But then I don't want to include the watermark. All right, I just want that one there. Then, for example, the original file name would not be that custom file name. And I would say this one here is no watermark. So I will click, the rest is the same. I'll click export. Boom, now I have two photographs now with the you know the same photograph one with watermark the other one without the watermark now what happened to my credits let's check what happened to my credits i still have the 33. it only discounts a credit when you export the photograph if i want to change a setting and adjustment because you know i have a second look and i don't want that to be there I can re readjust and re-export the photograph and it won't be charged again. So that's it guys. Uh, let me know what you think about this tool in the comments below. Remember that you have the link where you can download this program for free and get 30 credits free uh, for 30 days, right? And um, yeah, share this video if you like this type of content and any other of the content that I have in my channel, consider subscribing to the channel. And I see you in the next straight to the point tutorials. God bless you all. Bye bye.